A lot of gifts have been bought over the past few days, that's for <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't always mean they'll be received well. A new survey <laughs> ranks not only the worst Christmas presents, but who is guilty of giving them? Our Nicole Brewer is here now with that uh, story. Yeah, and you know, most people tell you what's on their wish list, right? right? Yeah. yeah. I do that all the time. Just <laughs> ask me. Uh, but wouldn't it be nice to know what's not on the wish list? Now, new research gives us insight on what to avoid this holiday season. Ever unwrap a gift? And wish you hadn't? Hickory Farm sauces. The random sweaters that like an aunt gets you. If it was my husband, an appliance, that would be like <laughs> the worst. A new survey by OnePoll.com reveals the top 50 gifts no one wants. From bad romance novels. Any romance novel would be a bad <laughs> gift. Better than a bad romance. To bubble bath. We can't even get in the bathtub at our age. <laughs> and soap on a string. That's a good gift. You can wash up. Smell good. And you can hang it up when you get finished with it. It found in-laws buy the worst gifts, which can upset, offend, or bewilder the rest of the family. I can see that happening. My son-in-law bought me a big screen TV last year. <laughs> Thanks, Lamont. According to the study, one in three were gracious despite receiving a a less than stellar offering. You get a bad gift, you suck it up. Put it in the closet, never see it again. <laughs> While one in ten experienced a falling out over it. Oh wow. It's not that serious. A quarter said they would re-gift. Maybe to a family member. <laughs> Absolutely. Or it goes to goodwill. And most respondents, eight out of ten, say no matter what, it's the thought that counts. Somebody's gonna go out of their way to think about you, you know, especially when money's tight around the holidays, you have to appreciate it. And on the flip side, clothing, music, and personalized items were among the most coveted gifts and the best gift givers, according to those surveyed, children and partners. That huh. makes sense. Well, okay. children always give the sentimental gifts, right. I think. And, and go and, for the heart. Yeah. yeah, and partners just do it up right, if they're smart, right? right. right? And, and know you well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. fruitcakes and chia pets are cool? <laughs> you want to hold you off on that. that. What? You do that, let us know yeah. how that goes. <laughs> just uh, not to us. Yeah, right. to other I was going, okay. <laughs> All right.